traditionally as i told during my uh, plus 2 days or college days little since i was in ec i was not exposed a lot towards coding but little bit i did and i used to find it interesting so i thought ki i did not start with the expectation i'll become a great and i'll crack a very big package i just thought ki even if i do the intermediate level then also i'll pack i land into a maybe like whatever cpc it is but i also discovered that in the software developing industry the, the growth is very high the remuneration grows multiplies so those were all the incentives that i thought about thought of Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. We are back with another testimonial. Today we have Saurav with us. Saurav is an actual job alumni who recently got placed in Smirch as a software developer at a really good package that is coding point uh, three LPA. Uh, Saurav is someone who graduated in the year twenty nineteen in EC. Right after that, he worked in the sales domain. He worked for two companies, and while working there only, he wanted to upskill himself and transition into this uh, IT industry. And uh, that is when he decided to join actual job. So today we talk to him and try to understand how he got to know about us and uh, how his experience was with actual. job and how he was able to crack such a great package despite being from uh, the non tech background so do make sure that you watch this video till the end but before moving forward take a moment to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so that you're always notified on all our upcoming videos now without wasting any more time let's jump into the session uh, hi sarup thank you so much for taking our time to do this with us can you quickly introduce yourself for us yeah hi uh, my name is sarup mosundar i am from west bengal kolkata I passed out my electronics and communication engineering in the year 2019 uh, from UEM Kolkata. After that, uh, I got from my college. I got placed in the business development industry, which is the sales industry, education technology field. So for uh, around uh, three to four years, I have worked in the sales field, uh, in the education technology field. But I always uh, had a had an interest towards technology and also saw how technology is booming around us. And I always wanted to pursue a career in that. So it was January 2023 when I. Uh, took admission to acquire job uh, so it has been around 15 months i am studying alongside my 9 to 6 job and uh, mm. recently 3 uh, days ago i got placed in smash still 4 uh, months of my course are still left for the front end modules hmm okay so sort of while you were in your last job uh, that uh, square yards that you were mentioning so during that whole phase only you were thinking ki you should be you know upskilling yourself or and then join a boot camp and then so that you will have some time on the weekends and then you can study or was it something that you thought a long time ago but you were not somehow getting time so that is how you were not able to move with it so tell us a little bit about uh, the you know the idea when it when it came to you exactly and uh, why how, did it yeah yeah so how how you got to know about aqua job why this idea came to your mind and then how you finally decided you should be doing this yeah so no i did not decide this long time back while in my last job only i decided that so i was in a uh, like city where you know the city was uh, full of it people software developers and all people i have seen that very successful in their lives and uh, also the, as i told you majorly the reason is that i found that technology in india is booming in such a rapid pace i found that from my current industry the current domain the current industry that i was in the tech field would be uh, like uh, has better prospects for the near future and uh, additionally as i told during my uh, plus 2 days or college days little since i was in ec i was not exposed a lot towards coding but little bit i did and i used to find it interesting so i thought ki i did not start with the expectation i'll become a great and i'll crack a very big package i just thought ki even if i do the intermediate level then also i'll pack i land into a maybe like whatever cpc it is but i also discovered that in the software development industry the, the growth is very high the remuneration grows multiplies so those were all the incentives that i thought about thought of So sort of you have been a part of Akhil job uh, with uh, of almost one year right uh, you joined in february in 2023 15 months right? okay okay and uh, so tell us how the journey has been and you have cracked such a uh, great package and uh, you are still a student you haven't completed all the modules so tell us how you strategized the whole thing uh, what are things you focused on first and tell us a little bit about your entire plan Yeah so when I started the first three modules of ours was you know uh, there was a fundamentals of coding and alongside there were maths and aptitude so uh, and after after clearing those three modules we were asked to choose that whether we were, want to go to the back end or whether we want to go to the front end 
so mm-hmm. uh, i was always like from the beginning only i was always very motivated about dsa because actually i am a, I, i am you know very active in the social media as on linkedin and also i have seen a lot of software developers how they, they are leading their lives and uh, how great things they have achieved in their life because of dsa i mean dsa is not the most important thing so, so i decided to focus on dsa the most and uh, that's what i have been doing even like from the first two months of my starting the course i myself took the initiative and started lead code and all these platforms so mm-hmm. yeah uh, there there was definitely a very good support from actually the classes were in the evening so i could complete the classes after coming back to my office from my office and uh, yeah so uh, focusing on the dsa practicing the dsa uh, practicing the dsa in platforms like lead code i have solved more than 500 questions in lead code and gigs for gigs Hmm. So uh, uh, focusing on DSA and then the uh, later part I also focused on the Spring Boot when the Spring Boot came. Actually, throughout the journey it was very interesting because all the subjects at this time the subject was very interesting. So Spring Boot was there. I made a lot of projects using Spring Boot. So basically, yeah, my placement is not because of any other thing. My placement is solely from the DSA and the Spring Boot projects. Only because of this I got the backend placement. Hmm. Okay. So Sora, did you sit for any other company before getting placed in this one? uh no actually i have not sat for any other companies actually uh, from my mind it was i was all, i had decided that i want to uh, crack a uh, greater ctc job so mm-hmm. i was applying to very few companies okay got it theek hai sorok so one last question that i would like to ask would be uh, you know there are a lot of people like you who are working in a different industry as of now and they want to transition because of the changing you know landscape that the tech industry is building and uh, you know basically coming to the uh, indian country right uh, so tell us how do you basically if you had to give any sort of advice to anyone who wants to transition as well and coming from a non tech background has some sort of working experience already in a different industry how can they entirely plan their whole journey so that they can also have a job at the same time you know because they want to be independent and they can also pursue a course like ours maybe or any other boot camp so that they can actually get results out of it not just you know upskill themselves and not able to land a job but they're also able to land a job what would you like to tell them uh, yes so uh, one very important thing if someone is thinking of a career transition from a different field to software development field i am sure that he is already aware about the perks in the software industry field that is why he is trying to switch now about the journey that he has to live that journey is definitely uh, full of you know you need your own self motivation you need we are not kids anymore that parents will tell us to study every day that is the biggest difference actually studying studying in elder times what i felt that uh, you yourself have to take the initiative every day and sit to study and every day you have to do at least one to two hours other than the other than the video lectures that you are attending you have to dedicate at least one to two hours uh, one to two hours every day uh, mm-hmm. consistently to land at least and anyway if you are doing that after one year even if not a great package that doesn't matter you will land in a very good company in a very good in a intermediate salary but in a very good and growing field that has got great future Hmm. That's great piece so of for advice. Such a, yes, for such for such a great uh, future ahead uh, we have to work hard for one year. Hmm. Okay. Theek hai. Thank you so much Saurav. Thank you so much for your advice. I'm sure people listening to you will surely find it insightful and thank you so much for taking out time uh, for doing this with us. We wish you all the best for your future and we'll see you soon. So that will be all from our end. I hope you all found it extremely insightful with Saurav. And if you guys are also interested in making a career in tech, so you can check out the link provided in the description box below. The link will take you to the landing page. We have courses from data analytics to full stack development. All have amazing instructors from top IT companies. So do make sure that you check out the link provided in the description box below. And if you guys are new to the channel, then don't forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you're always notified on all our upcoming videos. Thank you so much for tuning in on this one. We will see you soon.